represent remain an absolute insult. We can't do the job we're tasked to do because we're not invested in and we can't hang on to our staff. We have not got the ability to fully staff our intensive care units, fully staff our wards. We haven't got the ability to meet the core services. How many of you are sick and tired of the high turnover and increasing admissions? Ongoing staff shift gaps with yeah. weekends taken away constantly. I am sick of working so many nights and not having the time to rest before returning to day shifts. This is the summer and we are in a winter crisis. Five million people are on waiting lists as we speak, projected to be 13 million by year end. It's a crisis of astronomical proportions. The reality is you are in the middle of a collapse of the NHS. This is the beginning of our fight for a decent pay rise. Three percent is not enough and we will strike to make sure that we get the pay that we need to fully to the NHS. If we don't strike for the NHS now, the NHS as we know it will not exist. Sergeant Javid, in charge of our health service, has massive interest personally in privatising our health service. A privatisation takes place every week in our NHS. You walk through the hospitals, you see Serco, you see Mighty, you see Inserv, you see companies who are in there seeking profit, not about care. The people who don't even reach a living wage are the people who clean our hospitals, the people who provide food, people who are poor to us from the hospitals. Outsourced workers, there's many places where they want NHS pay and conditions. There's even places like an Imperial in East Lancashire a couple of months ago where outsourced staff have won the right to be brought back in-house. The one thing that all those victories had in common, they were prepared to take strike action. For the first time in a long time, our unions are now lining up to ballot us for strike action. If you want to vote yes to strike, you need to make sure your details are correct with your union. Sign up to any activist training. Start mapping your workplaces. If you work on A wall, find out who works on B wall, on C wall, and D wall. What we need are more nurses and healthcare staff to get behind us so we can really make our voices heard. There's lots of things going on all through the summer. We need everyone behind us. People that work in every single fabric of our society. We are asking you. As health workers, we need you to support us now. We need you to give us the confidence to fight for a decent pay rise for your NHS. So it is vital that every demonstration that health workers are on, you are on it as well from our community. You are on it from our trade unions. cost are so high is meaning that many healthcare workers will be facing the same issues that our renters face. Precarious, dangerous housing and overcrowding. Healthcare workers, many of black and Asian ethnic minorities working in the lowest paid patient facing roles in the NHS, going home to crowded homes, passing the disease onto their family. We wonder why the disease was so common in those communities. Boris Johnson was saved by who? Migrants. Yes. Who is he trying to kick out? Migrants. Yes. Migrants are the fabric of the NHS. One of the staff at my health centre died at the very beginning of this COVID outbreak. He was day last and he was the caretaker who opened and closed the doors on patients and he wasn't given the personal protective equipment that was required. So really, I think we need to bring all of these things together because we won't win on personal protective equipment until we win on pay. We won't win the better funding of the NHS unless we win on pay. And we won't 
push back privatisation unless we win on pay and people have got the confidence to fight on every front. We should not be outside number 10 depending the funds that we need to keep the NHS going. We should be recovering from what we had to do, yes, what yes, we had to yes, see. Yes, 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 yes. I can tell you inside my hospital the COVID cases are beginning to increase and it's the same in hospitals around the capital. So not only are we expected to clear up the mess that the Tories left us with and do the operations that we haven't been able to do, we've got to do it facing our third wave. So we say to you, Johnson, how are we supposed to do it if we're not paid properly? 3% is an absolute insult. We're not accepting that. We're ballying for strike action. We want something decent. We want something we deserve. And Boris Johnson, we're coming for you! Yeah!